Hey everybody, it's Kirsten Jordan again. We are in Tribeca today, which is the most expensive neighborhood in New York City. It's because the biggest apartments are here. There's lofty warehouse style homes throughout this whole neighborhood. I can't wait to show you my favorite spots and tell you a little bit more about why Tribeca is so special. Tribeca in the very beginning played a massive role in the shipping industry and shaping New York City to what it is today. Now, it doesn't really have much to do with shipping, but it's a vibrant central hotspot with a lot of beautiful architecture and beautiful people. The Odeon is the place to see or be seen. This spot is known for the movies it's been in, the TV shows it's been in, and it also has awesome food. And you can usually spot a reality TV star or maybe somebody really from Hollywood. On this sunny day in Tribeca, I'm taking you to a spot that's actually really cool at night, which is Max. This Italian restaurant is known for its chicken dish and they have amazing outdoor seating at night. It makes this block kind of come alive and I really think you should definitely check it out. Great date spot or with girlfriends for like a drink after work before you're going out to dinner. In 1918, the subway expansion all the way down to Tribeca started to make it the neighborhood that we know today. Right now I'm next to the one train, but there's a ton of other trains that you can get to from Canal Street and this is Franklin Street. Laughing Man Coffee is actually the most famous coffee shop in all of Tribeca. They're known for having outdoor seating from moms, gathering, after drop off, and pretty much anybody who's creative or living in the neighborhood who needs to get a flat white or an espresso any time of day. The other thing that's really cool about this location is that it's right on Duane Park, which is the only public park in all of Tribeca. It's this little square and it's super, super cute. So you better stop by and get your caffeine here. Now I've got my coffee from Laughing Man, and I was just thinking, why is Tribeca so freaking cool? Why does everybody wanna be here? Especially if you're living downtown. It's because not only is the architecture cool, the vibe is cool, there's all these shops and restaurants and places to get drinks and great coffee, but there's also a lot of famous people, let's be honest. Taylor Swift, who's like a really big deal right now, owns not only multiple apartments in the same building, she also bought the building next door because she was trying to figure out how she could get in to her apartment without people seeing her because the building she bought has a garage in it. Then there's obviously Robert De Niro, there's Beyonce, there's Mariah Carey. All these celebrities bought in Tribeca because of the cool style, but also because it's not as touristy as places like Soho. This epic view behind me is what you see when you think of Tribeca, this bridge, but so many of the cobblestone streets and the cast iron buildings and that warehouse red brick style is what Tribeca's known for. So look out for that when you're here and look out for people who are really famous. In the 1960s, these warehouses started to become vacant because industries left them. And so what happened is that artists move in and they made this a complete and total scene. The vibrant art scene remained in Tribeca. And that's why you still have galleries and artists. And most importantly, you have the Tribeca Film Festival, which is one of the most important events in the entire cultural landscape of this city. Thank you so much for touring Tribeca with me. This happens to be my favorite neighborhood and where I've sold a ton of real estate. If you wanna see other neighborhoods that I haven't covered, please comment below or share this with a friend who wants to know more about Tribeca because trust me, walking the streets of Tribeca is so special that I'm sure this is gonna inspire you to come visit or if you live in New York City, come live down here.